Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Cortona. Let's take a look at this model. So this is the Bellini model. It's a four bed, three and a half bath, 2,540 square feet. And they are currently asking 448,990. So this home is actually the highest elevation. You can see by the stonework. It goes up higher. The mid grade would be right to the middle and then the lowest grade for the elevation would have no stone whatsoever. In this community, you will get all your front landscaping. You will not get anything in the backyard. It will just be dirt. One of the nice things about all these homes, every single home will have a paver pad, or excuse me, paver driveway, paver entryway. Also, if you'd like to see any other homes in the area or even models, resales, all my info will be in the description below as well as my app. If you could do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps me out. So you will get a ring doorbell with the home. That is standard. Coming in through the entry, and also just in case you were wondering, I know a lot of people ask, you have the SmackDown texture of stucco. Coming in, and how awesome is this entry? Just don't want the door to slam. So just so you can see what I'm seeing. Nice high ceilings. So coming in, this would be, a lot of people like to refer it as the Harry Potter room. It is your coat storage, all encompassing Harry Potter room. So right across from there, that is your garage, two car garage. It is currently locked. Also, if you're wondering, the texture on the walls is the orange peel texture with rounded corners. Across you have your powder room. It's a 36 inch standard height cabinets with your standard toilet. Love this flooring. So this is an option, this is an upgrade. You have the upgraded flooring, this is a laminate style wood looks really well or excuse me really real into the kitchen nice big island so they chose the black quartz with the white cabinets you have the 42 inch uppers as you can see You will get all the stainless steel appliances. They are all GE. You get the three door fridge, your double stack oven. You'll get your range and microwave. Before we go over there, let's take a look at the pantry. So here's your pantry. It's okay size. Some of the other ones in the community, they're smaller homes, they have larger pantries, but you do at least have room down below. And then up above, you could always put another shelf. So like I said, you have your double stack oven. Use your black quartz. Nice five burner. Up above you have your stainless steel microwave. Again, all of your appliances will be included in this. Straight across from there, you have your dishwasher, undermounted sink, and right here, if you don't know what that is, that is your reverse osmosis. So water that comes out of there is filtered. It's basically bottled drinking water. Nice thing about that, the line will also run to your fridge. So you can see, I know a lot of people ask about the cabinets. These just have the little bumper on them. They're not gonna be the quiet ones. So when you close them, they're not loud, but they are not the uh, whisper, the soft closing. 
So before we head over into the living area, let's check out the dining area. So that's a decent sized table that could easily sit eight. Right now they only have six and you could go bigger. Into the living area. So nice big living area. Downstairs ceilings are nine feet tall. You do get the two-tone paint here. Let's go out back and check it out. So you will get the covered patio, but the stonework will end right where these pillars are. You will not get any of this additional stonework. You won't get the landscaping. You won't get the rock. The walls will be higher right now. They're just set up for models so you can see down and whatnot. Let me come around just so you can see. And this is a decent sized backyard. You could put a pool back here. So up above, you will have the balcony. Coming back in, just close the door. Now the neat thing about this property is there is a master upstairs and a master downstairs. Again, I like this kitchen. So this is the master downstairs. And a really neat feature is it actually has vaulted ceilings. It's the only room in the house that has vaulted ceilings. Nice size room. You come across just so you can see. Lots of natural light in here. Into the downstairs master bath. This one they did option the stonework. So normally you'll just get a fiberglass insert tub, fiberglass shower. This one actually has stone. It is an option. Again, nice high ceiling, or excuse me, shower head. You don't have to duck or anything. Right here you have your dual vanities. Same cabinetry as in the kitchen. So whatever you pick in the kitchen, they'll put throughout the house. One of the neatest features about this model, besides the downstairs master, is the fact you don't have to go upstairs to do your laundry. You get the double stack, washer dryer. Straight across from that, you get what would essentially be a his closet, maybe a hers and hers closet. Let's go to the closet first. So this is a nice size closet. The only thing I would do different is maybe add the second bar and lower that one or vice versa, just so you have even more space. Coming back, you have your toilet area. They were smart on this. They had the doors swing out rather than in because you would have never been able to get in or once you got in, you would have never been able to get out. Nice, big, big tub. Again, really nice ceilings with the uh, vaulted ceilings in here. So that's the downstairs master and the entire downstairs living area. It's very, very open, very airy. So we'll go ahead and go on upstairs. Again, this has the upgraded flooring, so you'll get the upgraded carpet. And just so you can see, I've already come up a few stairs. It has high ceilings in this area. Coming up the stairs, you get to the landing, and right here will be your linen room. It's a big linen area. Let me just show you if I can get the floor. It's probably three feet deep. So if you need more closet space or more storage space, there's a ton of space up there. So coming into the hallway, before we get to this bedroom, we'll start down here. 
So they have the built-ins right here. Again, same cabinetry as the kitchen. Let me get this light on. It's automatic. So this one has the washer and dryer. You do get the sink. And the cabinets are up, up ahead. Those are included. Right here, that would be the first bedroom. Nice size bedroom. It's neat how they did this wall. I don't know if the camera's picking up the artwork. All the chandeliers. Standard size closet. Now this room and that room do share a Jack and Jill bath. You will have dual sinks. No screaming, no kicking, no sharing. Across from that will be the toilet and shower tub area. Now if you want, you can always option this to be stone as well. This is the fiberglass insert. Into the second bedroom. Again, it's gonna be the exact same thing, just a mirror. Standard closet. We obviously did little boy, little girl room. And coming down the hall into the upstairs master. So before we get into the master, let's turn into the master bath. Again, they optioned this for the stone tub and shower. This is nice up here. You have separate vanities on this side. And then on the other side, if you wanted to, you could use it as a little vanity area or just extra counter space. You have your toilet area. And then you have the first closet up here. This is a decent sized closet. It's probably six feet by seven feet. Again, I don't have a tape measure on me, but it's a pretty good sized room. I would again put the double bar coming straight across from that you come into the second master. And this is what I mean by the double bar. This is a big, long closet. It's probably 12 feet long. Sorry, let me turn off my phone. Into the master upstairs. Now with this model, you do get the balcony. mountain views of Southern Highlands. Very, very, very nice home. Again, if you want to see this home, any other model, any other resale, all of my info will be in the description down below, as well as my app. It's free, download it. It gives you property information before Zillow, Realtor.com, anything like that. I hope you've enjoyed and tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. If you could do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button, it really helps me out. Until then, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks and stay safe.